Okay, so how to replace your speedometer or anything that's broken, any gauges or anything in the dash. Or if you just want to replace the lights in the dashboard, they're just getting old and need to be replaced. You have to take that screw out there. There's one there. And there's one right here. And then there's one right there as well. And then underneath, you see it hanging down, there's one there. And to the left of your ignition, there's one right there. And I'm going to zoom out, show you where it's actually to. Let me go around the steering wheel, come back down, and by your light switch, in between your light switch and your wiper switch, this screw is right there. So you take those bolts out, and this whole casing, as you can see right here, and around the edge here, this whole piece comes off. So after removing the faceplate, the only screw you have to take out is this one here. And there's one right there. You don't have to take off any other of the screws yet. But this is the only screws you had to take out to completely move the whole casing out of the dashboard. And then I'll show you what else is uh, next. After removing your 10 millimeter bolt on the two sides, you can just take it and uh, just take it. And you can haul it out to a certain way, extent, and then you get your hand inside, and you got to push down on the plate on the inside here for your speedometer cable. And once you had removed your speedometer cable, you just leave it hanging there, and your dashboard will, or your speedometer will come out a little bit more. And then you have a plug on the back, and you would have to push it on those two edges, and your plug should completely out, and then you take out your, your full speedometer casing. You have to push down on this rod completely to the plastic so your speedometer cable can slide right off. So if your gauge looks like this or like this, it doesn't matter. They all bolt up the exact same way in the dashboard and also come come apart the exact same way. Now starting back to the first gauges, this is your standard gauge in your dashboard. This would be your speedometer, your warning lights up here, and an empty plate down here, and your gas hand in the full round piece. For the gauge package over here, you would get over here you would get your oil temperature and voltage meter right there and instead of the big gauge for your gas hand you get the small one and also again your small little circle here that is empty and your speedometer is on the exact same size up on the top you got green indicator lights and they're easily to be removed as well so turning around If you have the gauge package, well then this is what your back of your gauge cluster looks like. And this is how you replace your lights right here. Uh, they're just pull in and turn. You just turn these over like this. And you just wiggle them out a little bit. And that's what they look like. And you just pull the bulb out of the socket here and replace. Same goes for your standard gauges. Same thing on the back here. 
same thing on the back you got your indicator lights you got your warning lights all those things I recommend if you're going to replace your driving lights or something like that it must well replace every one of them instead of constantly taking it out all the time they're not really meant to be taken out constant or anything it's just meant to be replaced put in and then stay in there for many many years before I move on I'd like to show you that the speedometer in the standard gauges right here and I will turn that around again just to show you uh, this is the mechanism here to take take it off and be replaced if need and again make sure that's on it so your cable can stay on and the same goes for the speedometer on your optional gauge cluster you all got the exact same plug here on your optional and standard but it's a little different in the cutout from the standard because you have your gas gauge here all this big piece here and then when you go over to here you have three individual gauges in this big round dome here and uh, that's how you replace each one as your connectors and this one here is your gas hand so it's quite different on the optional on the optional on the gauge cluster and of course as you see the empty plate is here and it's identical to the empty plate that's on this one here how to of removing your glass uh, bolt here 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 and here and when you take this off your metal rod will come off as well and these little indicators will be fastened onto this little piece here but you can remove them after this plate has been taken apart after removing the bolts take these little pieces off like that lay them to the side and your plastic should just completely come off be very gentle you don't want them to break and then is your backing then you have to turn it around before I go on as you can see the gauges are like brand new except for the discoloration of the needles your glass is always the problem you see it's so fogged up and most of these plastics do fog up there is a way of restoring them and I will show you later how to restore those uh, how to take this plate off here you have to turn it around and lay it down on that and you would have to take these bolts out here so there's one uh, you have to take this one out too three you can leave that one in and then you have four then you got five and you got six little bolts to take out after removing the bolts a little bit of uh, moving around here it's been in there quite some time so it's going to take a little while for the... There you go. So we lay that to the side here. And we'll just move that over here. And here is your gauges. And don't, if your gauges are dirty, don't get a wet cloth or anything and wipe it because your little letters would, uh, would completely come off. Uh, I wouldn't even wipe it with a dry cloth. Um, probably go with a q-tip or anything like that with a little bit of water and just go gently around whatever's painted and clean up around that because they will wipe off every one of them wipe off and we go up here you can see the gauges are uh, they're very clean 
and when you've seen the first part of the video it looked very dirty most of the case it's your plastics but if you ever need to replace just say your speedometer and everything else works you can turn it over again and you can take those bolts off right here and it would easily just slide out through this way and for your gas gauge you take these little prongs off here and there's little washers in behind there holding for the contact make sure you don't lose those put them back on after you're finished and the same goes for this gauge but this gauge is a full complete gauge but on the back it has its own separate contacts so make sure that when you take them off that you put them in a safe spot so they don't get lost and again they have little washers underneath to hold the contact and your plug goes in here of course and it just runs off to whatever channel that it needs to go to and that's how and these also too are replaceable a lot of speedometers have bad uh, bad these things I'm not sure what they're called <coughs> channels I guess I don't know wire channels and of course that's how you replace your lights um, these blue ones here are actually your your actually lights your running lights here and as you can tell that there's actually one missing out of this so someone had replaced balls before and forgot to put one in here and they forgot to put one in here so that's the perfect uh, perfect thing to do is take them out replace every bulb a bulb and put it back in and again perfect way of restoring uh, I can actually show you the side here you can see the bulb there coming out from this contact and that contact and you can see other bulbs in here you see it right there and there and that's your warning lights so they're very easy to clean up as you can see, I, I got this one here cleaned up. This one's pretty good. The lens needs to be cleaned, but everything else is 100% uh, perfect. So that do need to be cleaned up. And now I'm going to show you how to clean your plastic lens. Okay, so you get a piece of Tupperware, of course, and you get your glass cleaner. Uh, any old glass cleaner is fine. Uh, pour some in there. You don't have to pour the whole... You don't have to fill it all the way up. You don't have to pour the whole thing in. And then you put your glass in there and you make sure that it's moving around there. And uh, you put a little bit more glass cleaner in there just to make sure. The arms are fine. You don't need to, you don't need to restore those things. They're pretty good, you know. You don't get to see those. You can see the yellow tinting right here. And around. That's from the UV of the sun, you know, probably shining on your dashboard for... 30, 40 years, it happens. So you just let that sit for a few hours and then you come back and you wipe it a little bit and you put it back into the container again and you wipe it a little bit more. Some people use sandpaper techniques. Uh, you use uh, a rough sandpaper. I wouldn't use too much of a rough sandpaper, something like a, uh, a thousand grit and then work your way up to uh, a 15, uh, 1500 grit and then buff it out. You can do those things as well. You just let it, uh, you can just walk away, of course, if you wanted to, and let it sit for a little while. You can put the top over it, and it'll cure a little bit more like that. It also it also helps, too, uh, put this outside in the heat. I uh, wouldn't put nothing, uh, you know, really, really hot now, you know, something that'll melt. But uh, I don't live in Texas or anything. I live in Canada, so we don't get really, really hot weather. I uh, I would normally keep it out in uh, 30 degree weather in Celsius and uh, you can convert that to Fahrenheit that's probably the most that I would put it out as you know so we just let that sit so before I go I would like to show you the warning lights that are on the optional gauge cluster as you can see choke bees right there and I would turn that on and then there's your brake warning light as well um, that light, that speedometer right there so on your standard gauge cluster you have fasten seat belts 
off to that edge there and you also have the brake indicator is in the same spot as your optional cluster and showing you up here is your if I gotta find the spot here and I do believe that there are three gauges and this one here and I don't know if your the camera is going to focus in on that but that's your temperature gauge and then you have your oil slash choke and then your voltage down here and that would be it for your standard gauge.